After Germany, here I am in Belgium to try Belgian fast food. McDonald's, Burger King, and a popular fast food restaurant which doesn't exist in France. CBO honey mustard, bacon and cheese fries. Now you'll understand why Belgian McDonald's is awesome. But first of all, get ready for Burger King's desserts, cause even I was shocked. This is an adventure. What do they have? Oh my god. Ultimate Cheddar King. Will you look at the size of this burger? We'll get this. Oh, I'm gonna get some chili peppers too. Master Angus. I want it. Apparently, they sell veggie nuggets. Oh, look, it's Charlie. Hello. There are some fans next to us. They're celebrating a birthday, so Charlie's buying. Order whatever you want. It's on me. Really? It's my treat. Ah! A treat for my Belgian fans. Mini pancakes, oh la la. But this is insane. They have mini pancakes? Why don't we have them in France? I'm really dying to try them. Oh my god. I'm not sure if they also sell them in France, but we're gonna try them. What is this drink? It's a strawberry Oreo milkshake. Okay, I'ma try it. We got the minimum. The minimum. You could have got the maximum. Super long. I've never seen such a long ticket. Okay, bon appetit. Thanks so much. I'm the only guy who owns a restaurant and buys food at restaurants from the competition. Next time, I'll get them Pepe chickens. Well, well, well. Honestly, the Belgians have been keeping things from us. Because look, it's like in the US. They even have Mezzo Mix. Mezzo Mix is a mixture of Coke and orange. <gasps> oh yeah, you can actually choose the flavor here. There's grape, orange, vanilla, cherry, strawberry, raspberry. The classic? The classic. Oh my god, I am excited. I got some sweet things here. Okay, I'm gonna start with a burger. You know, I wonder if we have this in France, but with a different name. But the bread's not the same. Oh la la, look at this. Have they added the extra jalapenos? I don't think so. Oh yeah, they're here. Oh my god, this is gonna be awesome. This looks great. I can't wait. Here we go. The chili pepper makes the difference. This burger is huge. Look at all this cheese. Fast food in Belgium has got off to a great start. The fries are the same, they're classic. Mm. Fun fact, here they charge you for ketchup. That's a con for me. This is my first time trying these tenders. Visually, they look good, huh? You know I'm a bit critical when it comes to tenders, but they smell amazing. Mm. These tenders, considering they're from Burger King, have surprised me. They remind me a bit of the ones we get in wraps at fast food places, you know? They're really good and the breadcrumbs are well seasoned. I'd say 8 out of 10. This burger looked really appetizing in pictures. Is it gonna look like the photos? Ooh. Maybe it's just me, but I get the feeling that these burgers are really pretty. What do we have inside? Okay, some arugula, sauce, tomato, onion, bacon, two nice slices of cheese. Mmm. I don't usually order signature burgers at these places. I prefer classic ones. What do you like better? Because I don't usually like them, but this, for a change, is a signature burger I like. It's good. It's just right. Honestly, the meat is nicely smoked. It's thick. I'd give it a nine. Okay. I'm really excited. They're so, so tiny. Look at the size of these. They don't even look like pancakes. They're really very, very, very small. And honestly, I'm dying to try them. By the way, subscribe if you want to see more fast food places, because after Germany and Belgium, we're going to go to other countries. Anyways, this is a very peculiar dessert. Okay, no sauce? Mmm, that's what I'm talking about. It has nothing to do with the traditional pancake, but if you add just a little maple syrup... I could eat 20 of these just like that. And with some ice cream? Oh wait, <gasps> It's food hack time. I don't know how many Belgians are watching this video, but you should pay attention. You take these mini pancakes, you crumble them up a little like that. Are you crazy? Oh, this is so good. I'm gonna come to Belgium more often just for this. A little bit of maple syrup. Are you out of your mind? This food hack hasn't been approved by Manger Boucher's website, but it's gonna be awesome. Look at this. The perfect bite, some ice cream, a pancake. Oh la la. It's like a rainbow. You get sugar, crunchiness, chocolate, it's cold, it's hot. Oh la la. It's the best McFlurry that I've ever had. I'm a huge, huge fan of Oreos, and I've never seen a strawberry Oreo milkshake. I don't know if you can see the color on the video, but it's a little bit pink, like a vanilla strawberry ice cream. I'ma try it. Yuck. 
It's not good at all. Wow. You know that artificial ice cream, the one with three colors, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. It's like that cheap strawberry ice cream. Wow, it's so artificial with the Oreos. This is probably the worst milkshake I've ever had. See, here we get on the one hand, the best dessert and also the worst. Now we're at a restaurant that doesn't exist in France. I'm sure you've never heard of it. It's called Tuntun Chami. I don't know the history of this place, so if there's anyone who knows and can tell us in the comments, that'd be great. But anyways, apparently they sell a lot of stuff. Burgers, fried chicken, tacos. So here we go. We're gonna test it and try new things, because they say this place is crushing it in Belgium. Oh la la. Look, they gave me a big tray. Man, it's really heavy. Yeah, it weighs a ton. Let's try this. I'm gonna start with some fries. Mmm, honestly, it's a good start. The fries are really good. They're too hot though. I think it's the first time I've said that about fries. But they're classic fries. They're like McDonald's fries. Well done and hot. What's this thing? Oh my goodness gracious. How am I gonna eat this? We have one, two, three steaks, and lots of cheddar, and a piece of chicken. This thing's a cinder block. Mmm, mmm. Really, you eat this burger and you're done. It has this sauce. I don't know if it's Andalou sauce, but it's spicy. You know, I was like, it's too much, but it works just fine. This mix of chicken and beef, it's a nine. I'll get fat. <laughs> what is this? Oh my God, this is insane. Belgian fast food is no joke. I'll tell you that much. There are two sauces and look, what's this? Is it chicken? This is really good. It has this sauce that's like curry or something. Oh yeah. And it has fries too. Oh, Belgians, I love you. You're crazy. If you come here, try the London chicken. Chicken, sauce, fries. Honestly, if you eat this, you get enough for today's meals, tomorrow's meals. What's in here? It looks like an ice cream cone. Even the packaging, look at this. The packaging is lined with aluminum to keep food hot. And we have nuggets. These nuggets, visually, they don't look so good. But how's the taste? Look at the chicken. It's too compact. They're not great. Nuggets, right? It's complicated when they're not McDonald's. I'll give it a seven. I got a taco. It's been a long time since we've done a taco tasting, right? Some good old tacos. Look at this. Oh my God, it looks great. But this isn't just a regular taco. It's a fricadel taco. Do you know what fricadel is? It's a Belgian specialty. And to explain it, who better than Francois Damien? Well, fricadel, comment ça se passe une fricadel? Concrètement, qu'est-ce que vous pensez qu'on fait avec les testins? On rajoute des produits. Les produits, c'est quoi? C'est des anxiolytiques, des antibiotiques, des colorants, des on l'enfile dans des, dans des boyaux. Euh, ça devient des fricardelles, des merguez. Euh. I think that in this case, they've managed to squeeze a kilo in here. It's too much. <laughs> Look at the sausage. Wow, I just took a bite of fricadelle. It's filled with sauce. Wow. Oh, this thing's enormous. You could eat three days off this. It's like the fries. I mean, it's good, but it's too much. Obviously, we couldn't finish without a visit to McDonald's, the Golden Arches. Guys, can you explain to us why in Belgium there's a chicken above the McDonald's sign? We're gonna try it. I've heard they have good stuff. Let's go. What are we gonna discover? No. Cheese on de loose. CBO honey mustard. Maestro brutal brutus. On the menu. Ooh. Ooh. They have fries with bacon and cheese. Belgian McDonald's, it's going really well. Drinks, I don't see anything special. Yeah, they're sparkling iced tea. Sparkling iced tea? But that's heresy, man. No judgment, but to me, people who love sparkling iced tea are a bit weird. I'm gonna stuff myself today. Veggie? What's this? Veggie Deluxe. Let's try it. Okay, Veggie Deluxe. Desserts? Oh yeah. Oh la la, mini Oreo donuts. Why don't we have these in France? Parfait Cote d'Or, oh my God. This is a nice order. We're gonna try McDonald's fries. Okay, there's a little cheddar, plenty of bacon. Look at this. I'm not usually a big fan of these things, but in this case, with McDonald's fries, it's quite good. The bacon is finely chopped, it's not too salty. Honestly, it's eight out of 10. Still, whenever I go to McDonald's, I always get fries or wedges. The classic. This is, it's too much. We're gonna try this cheeseburger. This one's new, we don't have it in France. This sauce looks like it's a bit spicy, you know? And it has a nice color. I usually like to get the classic menu, a Big Mac with an extra steak. I think your McDonald's order says a lot about you. So let me know in the comments, what's your McDonald's order? Mmm, it's quite good. I don't know how to describe the sauce, but honestly, it's good. It totally changes the taste of the cheeseburger. Nine out of 10. Now it's time to face a veggie burger. Oh my, I open the burger and there's a big cucumber slice. My heart aches so much. Everyone is against me. There's something for everyone. Is it tempting? Not so much, man. 
Honestly, it's not that good. I think it'd be much better with the cheeseburger sauce. It could use some spices. Here, the mayonnaise. It is mayonnaise, right? Yeah, the filet is like fake chicken. Actually, the filet is good. Wait, is this actual chicken or what? It tastes just like real chicken, but the overall taste of the burger, there are too many veggies. It could use a spicier sauce. Six out of 10. This is the CBO honey mustard. Okay, I'm actually a huge, huge fan of CBO, but with honey mustard, it must be delicious. But before I try it, let's taste the sparkling iced tea. I don't know if they still sell this in France. It was called iced tea lip tonic. It's the kind of thing you drink only if you have to. I'm not loving it. I love iced tea, I love sparkling drinks, but sparkling iced tea, I'm just not buying it. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't think iced tea should be sparkling. It looks like this sauce has a brighter color. Ooh, ah. It smells really, really good. I can tell this is gonna be great. Mmm, it's, oh la la. McDonald's, you gotta give us some beef. You should have a beef CBO, and you just add the honey mustard. Honestly, this is incredible. Honey mustard, the Belgians are onto something here. 10 out of 10. Here comes a monster, Brutal Brutus. God, will you look at the size of it? It doesn't look like a McDonald's burger. I think this is one of those signature burgers. That's what they call them. It's enormous. Let the carnivores awaken. Discover the Brutal Brutus. Mmm, oh yeah. Yeah, it's piccalilli sauce. It's good. They have great signature products in Belgium, both at BK and at McDonald's. I would have said eight and a half, but with this piccalilli sauce, it's a nine. Before dessert, we're gonna try, oh my God. Seriously, they look just like the ads. These little Oreo donuts are just incredible. This, I could eat this nonstop. Yeah, it's good. Nine out of 10. I just got this ice cream and it weighs a ton. It's really heavy. What's this? Whipped cream and little chocolate chips. Mm. Yeah, the chocolate is yummy. I think it's like a McFlurry ice cream with syrup. Mm. It's like a whipped cream McFlurry. Mm. I get the feeling it's bigger than a regular McFlurry though. It's heavy, but it's good. It's like the parfaits in France, only it has toppings. And you know what? Let me know in the comments what country you want me to visit next, and whichever gets most votes, I'll visit. I want to tell you a little shooting secret. I must confess, I have an awful stomachache. There, I needed to tell you. I think I'm gonna have to go back to the gym.